Welcome back after summer holiday. Today I will be showing you how to make simple key holder using piece of MDF board. I'm using house shaped board, but you could use any piece of wood really. You can also buy similar houses in my shop. First we need to sand it down to make it matte so our paint can't easily stick to it. Without this process, paint might start peeling off. You don't need to remove warding, but please sand it really well. Then I cover my board with white undercoat using sponges. Two coats should be just enough and you can also use acrylic paint instead of primer if you want to. Now we can choose our napkin and see how to apply it. I've decided to use iron-on method to glue my napkin and for this I need to apply decoupage glue on my board first. Make sure you cover the house evenly using brush, then dry it. And yes, any decoupage glue will work, PVA as well. When glue is dry, separate layers of napkin keeping on the top printed part. You also need to remove unwanted edges from roof part using brush and water. Don't worry about overhanged edges, we will sort this out later. If you are ready to glue our napkin, we need to cut piece of baking paper and cover our napkin with it, then start ironing. You need to set your iron on low heat between one and two dots and switch the steam function off. If you are getting air bubbles when ironing, that means your iron is too hot. Make sure edges are glued properly. See no wrinkles on my napkin. Before next step you need to cool your board down and remove excess napkin with fine sandpaper.
Then apply layer of varnish or glue. I use Mod Podge as this is two in one. Once again try to be as even as possible. Now we can create roof tiles using acrylic structure paste. I wanted my roof to be brick red and instead of painting white structure paste after drying, I've decided to mix paint into it. When everything is ready, we can start applying our mixture on the roof using spatula. You will also need to apply some on edges as well. When you are happy about your roof, leave it to dry overnight. Next step is to paint our chimney and edges around the house. For all decoupage supplies you can visit my shop at www.agiscraftshop.co.uk I will leave you the link in the description under this video. When everything is finished, apply several coats of acrylic varnish on the whole house. I covered the roof with only two coats, as I will be adding some wax paste on top, so there is no need for more.
My house is almost finished, but you know how much I love wax pastes. My husband is laughing that I will soon start adding them when cooking. And last step is to fix some hooks for keys to hang and that's it. Make sure to choose hooks with short screws, otherwise they will come out the other end of the house. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos.